Hello ladies, my name is Ellie, if you don't already know me, and I want to talk about slow living. This is a concept that has, has been introduced to me in the past, this concept of having a slower approach to life, and it really has spoken to me extra in the last couple of months as a way that I really want to be living my life. So before I get into like, you know, thoughts and concepts about this particular way of living, I want to define it so we know like we're talking about the same thing. So I have my notes here because I've been, you know, just taking notes on different like podcasts I listen to or videos or just like my own thoughts. So I will be referencing those and I will start off by just reading off a definition that i found on the magical interwebs so slow living is a lifestyle which encourages a slower approach to aspects of everyday life involving completing tasks at a leisurely pace and i also gathered keywords from other sources in addition to that wikipedia definition that i just gave you and um some phrases or keywords that really stood out to me in regards to this lifestyle is that it is a reflective intentional and purposeful approach to life it involves pacing yourself rather than like wanting to conquer the world in one day like overnight and it really really emphasizes the magic of being steady and consistent and as well as thinking long term and big picture so we're going to be talking about those little snippets those concepts and you know i'm back on youtube i'm slowly getting the ball rolling if my computer freezes or if you see like random stuff on the screen i'm sorry i really am trying to not be a perfectionist and just get my thoughts out there get back on youtube so Bear with me as I slowly get back into the YouTube grind, into the YouTube mindset. I'm just really here to talk about topics that I, that I care about. So yeah, please be patient with me. I will soon get into the higher quality image and all that jazz. Right now, I don't really care about it. Okay, so why am I talking about this? Recently on my TikTok, I posted a little video, a little cute video, and let me pull it up. And I put little like snippets of text on there and I wrote, recently started embracing slow living. I no longer want to miss the small details of life. I am learning to savor the moment. I am choosing to live with intention and purpose. And this was really prompted by multiple things, but Recently, I watched a video about um, like this author that recently came out with a new approach to productivity. His name is Greg McKeon. McKeon. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, I'll type it out in here. But his book is called Effortless. And it's essentially <clears throat> about having a shift in our mentality um, when it comes to productivity so another way of thinking about productivity so he really is against this like workaholic mindset hustle culture that we're all exposed to he really is opposed to going like working yourself to the point of maxing out and feeling exhausted because that leads to this like physiological burden right because when you max out the next day or like the rest of that week you may not have energy you need to recover from like all the energy all the stress that you're putting into any given project or anything that you have to complete and so he also talks about something that i thought very, was very interesting that this is a very industrial age mindset of human productivity so for example when the industrial revolution was happening when we went like in the historical period of the industrial age productivity human productivity really increased like a lot <laughs> like human productivity had never been recorded to those levels because you have factories you have the assembly line you have so many different 
um, workflow or like systems that were being implemented that really created this concept of being able to pump out results 24 seven, whether that's automobiles, whether whatever that factory, whatever that business is producing, it was just like, hey, this concept of we can have this running 24 seven. So that's when we, it kind of became a little bit less natural, right? Rather than operating based on the body, based on the sun, based on like the sun and moon cycles, like whenever the sun is out, whenever the sun goes in, now it's like, there are ways to just work 24 seven. Um, that's just one example. I'm sure there are many other examples as to how this um, human productivity was just seen. This increase in human productivity was seen. This is just one of the things that I remember from like his um, the video that I was watching on his book. And so then enters the idea that humans aren't factories. Like we aren't these things that have the capability of always producing results 24 7. by results i mean more tied to like a business right obviously our bodies are always working right our heart is always pumping our cells are always at work but that's more like biological as opposed to um so like i'm a bio nerd that was my major so i can go on those weird tangents so back to um actual mindset around getting work done that like we just had this shift as a society as like I, even globally right because the u.s impacts so many other um world markets so there was just a shift in terms of always having to be on always having to produce more factory based and being on 24 7. so this is sort of the mindset that this author greg is trying to combat as well as many other people that are embracing more of a slow approach to achieving your goals and i would definitely fall in that category so this other approach is what i just mentioned you are still going to reach those personal professional financial goals but like at a slower pace you're going to slow down and have like smaller strides, if you will, right? Like you're slowly going to be working toward that goal. And what this really implies or what this means is that you're protecting your energy. You're identifying when you have the capability of being productive and being hyper-focused during those little periods. And the idea is that your energy is a limited resource. Like most of us cannot produce results all day right and it's also not a very healthy approach because it just takes a mental toll on you it takes a physical toll on you working all the time always wanting to produce results in more of a like business perspective or at your job or on your projects like it can really take away from other important things such as your hobbies your family your partner like yourself and keeping perspective maintaining that perspective of like there are other elements to our life that are important and need to be fed need to be nurtured and fulfilled and there was a very cool quote that was mentioned um by this author in the video that i was watching and he talks about progressing every day without any particular effort and basically how the author um how he deciphered that what that meant to him was this this rule that he talks about that also left a big impression on me which is don't do more today than you can completely recover from tomorrow aka a more sustainable approach aka really embracing rest right it's like this idea that if you're gonna burn out today that's not going to benefit you tomorrow. That's not going to benefit you in the long run. So that was a quote that really stood out to me. And he had very practical advice in case you want to, by he, I mean Greg, the author of the book Effortless that I mentioned earlier. And there was this advice that he mentioned in terms of, okay, like, how do I implement this into my life? Cool. Like, slow living sounds cool. I'm on board, Ellie. I'm sold. I don't want to be tired every day. I want to spend more time on my hobbies, on myself, on my family. Girl, just tell me how to do it. Okay, I will. This is what he mentioned. 
So this idea of having a lower boundary and an upper boundary. So like our min and our max is how I identified that. So for example, he um, talks about like journaling and um, this is something that I do. So you could set this goal. Your journaling minimum is going to be to journal for one minute. Or in his case, he said, I will write one sentence in my journal. That's your minimum. That's like on your worst day, the best you can do, which is still good, right? It's still progress. That's your minimum boundary. Your like the threshold at the bottom. Maximum. What's your max goal? Journaling. Okay. Going with the same, same example, your max amount of time that you're going to spend journaling is five minutes. So now you have this lower bound and upper bound, and you're going to like dance somewhere in between, you know? So this idea of not only defining the lower end, but also the top end, like when are you done? Right? Like what if, like, when are you done? Just identifying that top piece, which to me, like was so important because sometimes I can keep going. I'm like, oh my God, I'm journaling and I'm journaling for a minute, for two. And I'm like, that doesn't feel good enough for me. Like, let me keep going. At some point you have to stop and be satisfied with your progress, with what you've done, right? So I really took a lot away from that one piece. And he also talked about having a done for the day time. For example, don't work till midnight unless you started working later in the day okay fine but i think what this means what it meant to me was a lot of times i never stop working you know i start working in the morning and then i'm like oh my god i don't feel productive enough let me keep going and then it's i i said like okay five five o'clock i'm gonna be done but i don't really respect it because my mindset hasn't shifted i still think i have to keep generating results i haven't like no i could do more i could do more and then i'm working till 8 p.m. and then I didn't go to the gym like I said I was going to at 6 p.m. because I didn't feel productive like it just never ends so having a done for the day time allows you to just stop working rest go to the gym go on a walk go paint your nails go get your nails done um like just stop there are other elements to life that are important have a date night like call your mom visit your mom like your dad, your sister, whoever, a friend, just stop and engage in rest. Whatever rest looks like for you. It could be just sleeping, binge watching a show, you know, whatever it is for you. And he talks about like, this is so important because it allows you to give yourself that space to recover, to rest, to relax. You need that. Like, when do we... When did I stop thinking, start thinking that I didn't need to rest? God. Okay. Another thing he mentions is having a done for the day list. So for example, you're going to have a list of things that need to be completed. Select a couple of those things. I usually select three items that are priority items. Um, depending on those items, it could be less. It could be one major task that you just want to complete. It also depends on how you're feeling that day, right? When you complete that list, you're done. Like, don't add on some other stuff because you don't feel productive enough. Like, learn, you have to gain trust in yourself. You have to, like, give yourself your word and, and keep your word. You know, like, a lot of times I do this. I don't know if you can relate. I tell myself, I'm going to do these five things and I'm going to feel good about myself. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to watch Netflix. I'm going to watch YouTube. I'm going to just like not do anything. And then I finish those tasks and then I don't feel satisfied. I'm just like, oh, but I could, I have so many other things to do. Like (laughs) there's always going to be things to do. (laughs) especially if you're watching this you're a lady that is goal oriented you always have things to do you always want to improve you want you there's always going to be that book you haven't read that's on your reading list there's always going to be that next thing you have like i'm mainly talking at myself right now i'm feeling frustrated because this is advice to myself 
and this is a message to myself so that's why i'm getting very passionate about it because i like they say in spanish quiero que me caiga el 20. like i need to like let that simmer and sit in and register in my little head okay so when you're done with that list you are done so just to go over these three things that i talked about or that he talked about that I'm now talking to you about, practical advice on how to embrace slow living is have a lower boundary and an upper boundary. So minimum, max. I am going to work out for a minimum on my worst day of 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay. It could be five. It could be less. I don't know. Max. Okay. On my good day, the most I'm going to work out is an hour. I'm done. I will be satisfied with that. Lower and upper bounds. Two, having a done for the date time. For me, I want that to be five o'clock because I want to go to the gym with my fiance when he gets home from work. I want to talk to him about his job day, like his work day when he gets home from work. I want to just <laughs> keep that as my done for the date time. This is like no excuse i need to respect that i need to keep my word what's yours set yours finally to repeat number three have a done for the date list okay let's keep it going because i know i'm a rambler okay so that is just sort of where i'm at i'm at this point where i want to nurture other elements of my life i don't want to tie everything that i do to like a result and also shifting my mindset to like the result looks different for every aspect of your life the result for your job for your passion for your career could be your money it could be money it could be satisfaction like that's going to change depending on who you are what about results for relationships? What's my relationship with my siblings? What's my relationship with my friends? With myself? With myself? Um, results for finances, like aside from your job, right? Like how much am I saving? What's what's What does that result look like? Results for your spirituality. Like am I connecting with a source energy that I believe in? Am I connecting with myself? So again, like that result is going to look different for different categories of your life, different aspects of your life. So the idea is that we need to embrace the process in our pursuit to our goals, to our, to our dreams, to our, our ideal life. Let's enjoy that a little bit or a lot. A lot is ideal by changing our mindset around like what it means to be productive or yeah like what does productivity look like in your life and, and and incorporating rest in that and not feeling guilty about it that's a big one for me i always feel guilty about resting <laughs> i hate it i hate it um but i'm working on it it's i want to be better in that way so share your thoughts like do you does any of this resonate with you do you already practice slow living um, do you um, have anything else to add? Obviously, there's so many more things I could talk about, but I already rambled on for like 20 minutes probably. Um, but I just wanted to share my thoughts on that because it's something that's I'm trying to embrace more. And I do want to say like this by no means I, means do not be ambitious. Do not get after your goals and dreams. I'm still going to do that. Like I have so many goals and so many dreams and I'm going to achieve that. But it takes time to build that. It takes more than a week, a month, sometimes a year. Like I need to learn how to step back. I think long term, big picture. What little steps am I doing today to get there? Be patient. Trust the process. Trust myself. This doesn't mean I'm gonna go be lazy all the time no no that's not what i'm talking about that's not what i'm talking about because we are shifting our mindset and rest is no longer being lazy but you can also overdo stress there are time i mean rest there are times where we need to just activate get stuff done 
right? But there are times when we need to rest. The balance is what I'm talking about, okay? So that's that. I hope that something stuck with you. I'm sure that it did because these are concepts that I'm sure we all need to be reminded about. Take it easy. You're going to get there. Pace yourself. Embrace the little things. Go outside, look at a tree, look at a bird, like listen to nature. Call up a friend. The beauty is in the small details. It really is. You'd be surprised with how little we are satisfied by. <laughs> so with that being said, I hope you enjoy this form of content because I I'm a long form content girl and I have a lot of thoughts and I talk a lot. You know, I was trying to do like little five minute videos and I'm going to do those as well. Like we're going to have shorter content, but I'm prepping for that future podcast that I want to have. Okay, subscribe, please support, like, let's form this community. I have a Discord server for ambitious ladies that want to get after their goals, but want balance as well. Links and description box to anything that I can possibly want you to like go check out. It'll be down there. Thank you for listening to my rants. Bye. <laughs> See you in the next one.